12.9 is only hours away from dropping and with it a brand new wipe cycle. Now with this new wipe, one of the first things I'm going to be working on is hideout management and crafting skills and you should too. In this video I'm going to be going over what bonuses these two skills give you, how they level and then also the fastest way to level these skills. Trust me, they are worth your time. So stick around. So what do these skills do? We'll start off with crafting because it's a lot easier to explain. Max level crafting decreases craft time by 37.5 across all productions. Everything except for the Bitcoin farm and the scab case. It also allows you to craft two items at each station. For example, at the workbench, you could be crafting 7.62 BP as well as the Eagle gunpowder at the same time, giving you an endless cycle of high tier ammo. Next, on to the hideout management skill. Now, the hideout management skill at max rank will decrease the consumption rate of fuel, water filters, and air filters by 25%. Now the hideout management skill also increases the bonus by 50% across all zones. Now what this means is that each station gives you various bonuses and increases each of those bonuses by 50%. Now I'm not going to get into all of them because there's a bunch about hydration recovery, energy recovery, health recovery, and they're not as important. I'm just going to cover the most important ones for you. One of the most important bonuses you will be getting is on the air filters. Now I'm sure I don't have to tell you just how important strength and endurance is in Tarko. With max hideout management, you will be getting a 60% bonus on air filters rather than 40%. And this is on the amount of points you can earn before hitting the soft cap, which means on average with max hideout management, you'll be earning 60% more strength and endurance points in every raid. This is one of the main reasons why I can't stress enough that in this new wipe cycle, you should be working on these skills as soon as possible. The next most important buff is in the library. Now with max hideout management, you'll be getting a 22.5% XP bonus to raid experience. You'll also be getting a 45% bonus to all practical skills. And it just so happens that hideout management and crafting are practical skills. This means that the quicker you get to the library, the quicker you'll get that XP bonus, get to level 40. You'll also get to hideout management and max level crafting quicker, which will then get you to max strength and max endurance quicker, so you can be bunny hopping and getting all that loot. Next is in the Intel Center. Now these are just sort of quality of life things, but your scav cooldown timer will be reduced by 52.5% at max level. Quest money reward boost will be increased by 22.5%. Insurance return time will be reduced by 30%. And then flea market commission will be reduced by 45%. Next important buff is in the solar panel. Now on top of the negative 25% to fuel consumption you already get from having max hard air management, the solar panel will give you an extra negative 75% to fuel consumption. This adds up to your fuel being used 100% slower. This means that with each metal jerry can, you'll be getting 128 hours of generator time. The next day and final thing that max hideout management will give you is an extra two slots in various zones. You get an extra two slots for bitcoins, an extra two slots for water filters, an extra two slots for air filters, and an extra two slots for jerry cans, giving you a total of eight jerry cans. If they're all full metal jerry cans, you can have 1,028 hours of generator time. This is just under 43 days, over a month of continuous use of the generator without you having to touch it. Now onto how these skills level. Now, starting off with crafting, you will get one point per hour of crafting with a bonus of 2.5 points at the completion of a craft. However, if you do the same craft over and over, you will get less and less rewards out of this craft. So it's best to alternate between a few different crafts. Next on the hideout management, you'll get one point per completion of craft, regardless of whether you're doing the same one over and over again. And then one point per 10 points spent in water filters, 
fuel or air filters. And however, it doesn't mention it on the wiki, but you will get points for your hideout management skill throughout the duration of the scav case, but no skills towards your crafting. So what's the fastest way to level these skills? Well, they both lend themselves to fast craft completions, getting bonuses at the end of each craft. But this doesn't help you if you don't restart the crafts soon after. So the fastest way to level is to cycle through the three fastest crafts while you're actively playing. And then when you stop for the day or the night, make sure to put on the longest craft at each station. It's also important that you keep your scav case, generator, Bitcoin farm, water collector, boost generator, and air filters full at all times. Now going through station to station, I'm gonna be showing you what the three fastest crafts are that you should be cycling through while you're actively playing and then the longest craft that you should be putting on when you stop playing for the day. So the three fastest crafts are the broken LCDs, the printed circuit boards, and then the Hawk gunpowder. And then the longest craft, you should be either doing the car battery or M61. Now, hands down, the fastest way to level up hideout management, if you have the time and the money, is just to spam the gas filters over and over and over again. So if you've got plenty of money, and you just do want an assignment for uni or school just play Tarkov on the side just keep running these over and over although this won't do wonders for your crafting skill but if you're not doing that the three you should cycle through is of course the gas filter toilet paper and army bandages with the longest one being the lucky scab junk box now onto the intel center now since all of these take so damn long it doesn't really matter what you do just do whatever you need and make sure to cycle between two or three different crafts. Next onto the nutrition unit, the three you should be cycling through are the lunch boxes, Tashanka, and Slickers bars, with the longest one being the hot rods. Next onto the med station, the three fastest are the AI2 kit, the blood set, and then the Salewas, with the longest being the defibrillator. Now it's widely accepted that strength and endurance are the two most important skills in Escape from Taco. But since hideout management and crafting help support you on your grind to max level strength and endurance, I find that these two skills are almost just as important. Also, it helps that with the Bitcoin surge right now, if you get your hideout maxed and these two skill maxed, you'll be making a shit ton of money early game. So don't ignore your hideout this wipe. Make sure you put the time in to level these skills and max out your hideout. You definitely won't regret it in the end. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Please make sure to like, comment, subscribe, all the fun stuff. But also head down in the description and you'll find a link to my Twitch account. Give me a follow. As we head into this new wipe, I'm going to be spending a lot more time streaming rather than making YouTube videos just until I hit cap up. So give me a follow. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you on stream.